Hello Dragon Age Watchers and I'm here today to give you a quick informational update on the players and their two new characters. Last session we had two bereavements to the party and that means new characters have to come into play and just to tell you that it's uh, Pete and Chris so Pete lost Dre has has already been covered and he's going to be coming in with the Talvashoff from Freeport and those files that have been converted over to age Old Yellow Eye one of the uh, pirates under Scarbelly of course seemingly Scarbelly is no more you know he's been killed by the big Gatlock bomb that went off supposedly uh, so he's coming in with Old Yellow Eye he's a rogue Talvashoff and pirate so he's taken the we waking sea raider background on this he's come in at straight level 10 with 36,000 experience however he will gain the experience from last session in which he played towards this character as well just to be fair uh, not really a lot to say about the stats here at level 10 just um, <clears throat> communication 3 constitution 2 cunning 0 dexterity 4 Magic 0, Perception 3, Strength 3, Willpower 2. And he's got, uh, let's see, Scouting. He's gone for Marksman Specialization, so obviously being level 10, he's master in that. Uh, he's uh, got the Archery Style as well, and Thievery as his talents. And also because he's uh, Talvashoth, he knows the Kunalat as well as Trade Tongue, and his uh, Waking Sea radar background he chose Antiven for his uh, languages so uh, fairly simple there he's going to have a crossbow and kind of fight that way with like um, uh, light blades in support he got that crazy evil yellow eye as well which is great but you know how long do you give him how long do you give old yellow eye hey <clears throat> as the pirate joining the group uh, the, the group's got basically gone to him and say, look, you, you, we've killed your captain. You know, we're very worthy. Come help us out. You know, you've got nothing better to do. So, yeah, he's going to go help them. He's a, he's a mercenary sod anyway, but how long do you give him, you know? Uh, what's his motives? He's a pirate. It's gonna, <laughs> something's going to go wrong, surely. <laughs> okay, the other one is Chris, who has just lost his first character last session, so that was... <clears throat> his uh, Kunari warrior in fact he be dead Ashad so uh, he's coming in now with a mage he hasn't got the full details fleshed out yet he doesn't have the name in place and all this but of course that's coming in at entry level 10 as well uh, it's got more health than the rogue the rogue's got 68 health the mage has got 83 health and this could change the party dynamic because obviously we've had one mage go out and we've had one mage come in but the thing about this mage is that it is an arcane warrior master so that really is going to change the dynamic you know a mage that's you know wearing the armor and deciding oh you know I can get stuck in with some uh, melee attacks and make it potentially workable here we've got uh, stats wise uh, communication 1, constitution 3, cunning 4, dexterity 4, magic 5, perception 2, strength 1, willpower 5. That's some really good stats. Uh, mana 98. Yeah, some really good stats. So uh, this one is going to have a short sword. A again, you know, I'm not sure what the, the details will be or why his characters in here. If we have a quick look at the spell list that he's written up for himself, he's put down let's see, flame blast, stone fist, heal, rock armor, flaming weapons, fireball, spell wisp, and grease. Hmm. So it could be interesting because uh Arcane Warriors it sounds like a, a, a nice thing to move on from if you've enjoyed the warrior dynamic doesn't it and getting on and um, smacking people 
yet also able to cast spells, able to do something a little bit different. We'll see how this works out in the long run for for uh, Chris. There you go. Preview on the two new characters. Full details of what they do in the sessions in the next vidcast. I'll see you at that one.